And I think it's also important to point out, if you flip channels, you see some of the uh, disdainful questions over to different IDF spokespeople who don't even want to think about taking their word for it, let alone finding out information and getting things like a transcript and video. Also important to point out, just 10 minutes ago, Al Jazeera has been reporting all night that it looks like Islamic Jihad was the one behind it. I think they have a lot of sway within the Arab community. And they are terrorists. Keep that in mind. Yeah, they, they started this whole life. thing. Let's bring in KT McFarland, former Thank Deputy you, National Security Advisor. Uh, KT, great to see you. How important is this trip so far? And how successful has it been for the president? You know, the pictures that you're seeing of the two presidents side by side with the American flag, the Israeli flag, the American flag, the Israeli flag, that is such an important picture to send to the entire region. Yep. Not only to the other uh, Muslim countries in the region that America stands with Israel, but to the whole world, to send it to Europe, to send it to the United States, and particularly to send it to Iran. You know, two weeks ago, Israel was at the, on the brink of a historic peace agreement with Saudi Arabia. That would be the final step in the Abraham Accords, peace in the Middle East. Who was left out of that? Iran. And Iran knows it can't defeat Israel militarily, it can't defeat Israel economically, but it hopes to defeat Israel politically and by dividing the United States and Israel. So that tri this trip is of critical importance for the survival of the state of Israel. Okay. KT, can you talk about, and, and I, think, I don't think we can overstate this enough, that Hamas, as well as Iran and the rest of them, they use these videos, this disinformation as recruitment tools on the battlefield. Um, can you dive into that a little bit? Yeah, all right, so Iran uses, well, through Hezbollah and Hamas, and their unbelievable spin machine. They, they want to show Israel committing atrocities. Even if Israel isn't committing atrocities, they want to do that. Why? Because they want to sway world opinion. They want to isolate Israel. And they really want to drive the wedge between the United States and Israel. So far, they haven't been able to in two weeks. But where are we in another two weeks if there are more civilian casualties, if Israel does go in on the ground in Gaza? That's what Iran wants, because Iran wants this war to continue. So does China. So does Russia. So do a lot of the bad guys in the world that we've enriched with high oil prices, and their coffers are full. They want this war to go on. Don't blame them, uh, given that. And, and KT, as we look at what is going on in the West Bank, where they have called for a general strike today, and then you've got Hezbollah calling for a day of unprecedented anger over the strike at the hospital, which, you know, we've seen Israel's proof that uh, they didn't do it. How, and Trey um, Yanks a moment ago said that the West Bank is also a tinderbox. How, you know, how, how worried are you? as a professional, that this is going to get much worse. Well, very worried. You know, if, if Israel is attacked on three fronts, on the, on the West Bank, on the east of Israel by the um, Palestinians on the West Bank, and now Gaza, and then potentially Hezbollah, what happens next? Is Israel going to fight a three-front war? Is the United States going to get involved? Iran wants this to happen, but it doesn't want to have direct conflict with Israel or the United States. The thing that I worry about going forward is where are the Palestinian refugees going to go? Yeah. Now, Israel isn't going to accept them. Egypt doesn't want them. Jordan certainly doesn't want them. It fought a civil war with the Palestinians 40 years ago. So what happens to those Palestinian refugees and the humanitarian issue? You know, so far, I mean, for example, so Hamas, um, the UN sent uh, fuel oil and food as a humanitarian assistance to the Palestinians a couple of days ago. What happened? Hamas stole it all. They stole it from their own people to use in the tunnels for their own fighting. Mm. So this gets worse. It gets worse militarily and certainly in a humanitarian way.